This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Megan Hahn with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. Family and friends have never given up hope on bringing Kamisha Hollis home. Sunday, search groups went through grassy, wooded areas near Orchard Park, focusing on places no one has checked before. They say it's important to look in places near Kamisha's home for clues that could lead to her whereabouts. And although it's been months and no signs of Kamisha have surfaced, family, friends and even complete strangers say they're keeping this search going. Monday, Bailey Boswell accused alongside Aubrey Trail in the murder of Sydney Loof will be in court. The pair were recently sentenced in a fraud case, but both could face the death penalty for their alleged involvement in the murder and disposal of Sydney Loof. Prosecutors announced they would seek the death penalty for Boswell last week. If convicted, she would be the first woman on Nebraska's death row. And on 3 News Now, meteorologist Mark states our next cold front arrives tonight and it's going to kick off some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong to severe. The greatest threat for that happening along and north of Interstate 80 where we have a slight risk for severe weather. Biggest threats would be damaging winds and large hail, but an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Rain chances will increase across the area as we go later into our Sunday night with more scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Most of that though will push south of I-80 as we head into Monday morning with lows near 68 degrees. For Monday afternoon, most of us will stay dry, but a couple spotty showers will be out there, mainly south of I-80. Highs will be a touch cooler thanks to that cold front near 87 degrees. Tuesday then, we stay in those mid-80s with a mix of sunshine and clouds, most of us staying dry. Wednesday then, mostly sunny as we start to warm things back up into the upper 80s. And to finish off the work week, temperatures closer to 90, and we'll keep it a touch above average for our next weekend as well.